Hello. Today I thought I'd talk about something a little different. I would talk about my experience of moving from Dublin back to the west of Ireland and working from home. On March 17th, 2021, I had a conversation with my brother. He's a lawyer in the States and we were chatting about property and the idea of moving and he was giving me some advice. So we've just passed St. Patrick's Day 2022 and um, I'm one year into this experiment, if you wish. And it has been a really interesting experience and I want to perhaps explain it in the context of uh, psychometrics. So I am a um, direct D. So in the, in the behavioral profile, disc, dominance, influence, steadiness and compliance, my primary style is um, D, uh, very, very high D, um, very direct, a uh, risk taker, leans into problems and challenges and so on, uh, sort of forceful. And my um, um, S is uh, very much over on the left-hand side. So my S is what we call very low. I move very, very quickly, real sense of urgency, real sense of making things happen. And my C is um, below the line. So I'm more of a pioneer than I am of a compliant type of person. Uh, again, let's have a risk taker are willing to take risks. And in my driving forces, my motivator is what engages me. I am commanding, uh, resourceful and objective are my top three. And commanding, I want to be in control of my destiny, freedom and so on. Uh, resourceful, I want to return on my time, return on my energy, on my investment. And um, objective, a functionality over form, does it, does it work? Does everything work? I'm more into do things work than are they beautiful. So having that in mind, <clears throat> I looked at the whole notion of moving um, out of Dublin, not initially to the west where I come from, but just moving out of Dublin. And I set myself, remember my profile, I set myself some criteria. And uh, one of the criteria was um, that I wanted um, a house that was large, well, larger than I had. I was living in Dublin, I had a small house, about 750 square feet. I wanted something at least a um, thousand square feet, a hundred square meters. I wanted bedrooms, enough bedrooms. So I wanted at least three bedrooms, um, so that my children could come and visit me. I wanted a dedicated office. Um, uh, I wanted space I could actually work. If I was going to work remotely. I wanted sufficient space. I wanted a high speed broadband, good quality high speed broadband. And um, I wanted a nice garden. I wanted to be able to love the, the sun. I wanted to be able to step out into the sun. And it could be a balcony, I didn't mind, but I had to be able to step out. That'd be a sense of getting out of the, of the house or out of the apartment. I wanted a neighbors. This was really, really important to me. Um, I, if I was going to move back to somewhere I wasn't familiar with, I wanted to have neighbors, have people around me and have proximity to a town and shops. I'd either be in a town. I'm a runner. So I wanted off-road runs. I wanted somewhere where I could go off up the, the mountains or run along by the river or whatever, um, away from traffic. I wanted um, a secure parking. I ride a motorbike uh, for fun, and I wanted a secure parking where the motorbike would be secure. And so and these were sort of my criteria. And again, remember my profile. So what did I do? I did a spreadsheet, did up a spreadsheet with all these criteria and I scored the criteria from six points down to nice to haves with things like um, <clears throat> wouldn't it be lovely if there was a train right outside my front door that would take me to Dublin and so on. Uh, but the absolute have to haves were the ones I just listed. And um, I looked at 47 properties. So I actually went and visited 47 properties all over Ireland. I took the opportunity to hop on my motorbike and go for spins and look at these properties. And I formed a view that I was interested in either the west of Ireland, close to Galway, where I originally uh, grew up, and my parents both came from Mayo, or um, down the east coast, somewhere heading down towards um, uh, Wexford, somewhere down along the east coast, south of Dublin. And that's really where I focused my efforts. And eventually, each time I looked at a property, I would score it based on my criteria on my spreadsheet, and then I'd work out the cost per point that scored. And it was sort of interesting as I went through the exercise 
Um, I eventually found the place I'm living in now and that I'm working for. I'm actually standing in my home office at the moment and um, talking to you. And so, so I found this, for me, perfect um, a property. I bought something um, that was twice the size of what I had in Dublin, four bedrooms, four bathrooms, 1,500 square feet. I bought it for um, a third of what it would have cost me, let's say a 30 minute drive outside of Dublin. Um, so I bought it like for very, very small money. And I have my, um, all the space that I need. I have the high speed broadband, 75 um, and megabits upload or download and about 25 to 30 upload. Um, I have a really good quality of life. I drive up to the shops and I collect, uh, do my groceries in two minutes. You're up, you park, you do your grocery shopping, big supermarkets, everything you need. Uh, so for me, it's been a really, really um, positive experience as a, in terms of quality of life and living. In terms of working, it's been very, very interesting. So in terms of working, I um, before COVID happened, we were already looking at the whole area of would we work um, on, would we move our business online, would we work remotely? And we started to come to the conclusion that we would. So we closed down our offices. Uh, the team all went um, uh, working remotely. They all went on, on contracts so people worked um, when there was work there and built their own businesses, so all became self-employed. And this dramatically changed the overhead of the business, allowed us to do our business in a different way, in a different price point um, that made sense for people. So that was a really, really real plus. So when COVID came, we were already in this space and ready to move, if you wish. Um, we took our business online and um, all our business is done online now there's, there's virtually no business done face to face and i don't envisage that changing um, any time in the future um, certainly not in the near future it means that we have much more time it means i find for example personally that i have an awful lot more time to work on projects to work on developing and growing the business to facilitate my clients to work closely with the, the users of our tools and support them so I found I've an really significantly more time, probably twice as much time as I, uh, as I had before. Uh, uh, so I find this is a really, really, a really, really positive thing. There's no travel anymore. There's no commuting. There's no going off to training programs here and there. Everything is done online, uh, which means you just stand up and you do your program and away you go. So from that perspective, it's been a great success. Um, in terms of downsides, I really don't see any. I've been candid about this. People have asked me, they said, uh, and as they asked me early on, I said, wait a year and I'll tell you when I've been through a winter and I'll tell you when I've done a full year and I'll see how it's worked. And quite candidly, I see no downsides. Um, I, uh, I live in a Ballon Robe uh, in Mayo, um, right in the town, overlooking the river. Uh, I have lovely runs, proximity to the shops, proximity to things, I have lovely neighbours. And everything I need, easy run down to Galway, 35 minutes down to Galway, 20 minutes to Westport, 20 minutes to Castle Bar. Um, very easy to go to Clare Mars and hop on a train to Dublin. So for me, it worked really, really well. I have everything I want and need, um, and I'm very, very pleased with it. And I don't, at this particular point of time, I don't see any downsides. No downsides for me personally, and no downsides for the business. So that's sort of a, a 12 month review, if you wish. Here I am 12 months since I made the decision and started the process. Uh, here I am, um, uh, end of March, 2022, and uh, looking out the window here at uh, the beautiful view, surrounded by trees and the river and, and working away very, very happily. So for those of you who are thinking about this, there's my story. Uh, obviously everybody's different. My circumstances are different. I'm, I'm, I'm divorced, I'm a single man. And my, my children are all grown up. The last two are still in college, but all the rest are gone. And so for me, my, it, it made sense for me. It may not make sense for somebody who um, has a family, obviously, and children are in school and so on. And it may not make sense for somebody who can't take their business online or take their work online. So for me, there was a particular uh, set of circumstances. But for those who can, um, I think it's a really, really interesting, um, really, really interesting thing to do. And I see, in, in, even in the town of Ballon Robe, I see the town developing significantly. I can see buildings being refurbished, and uh, people are moving into the towns. Uh, so I think that the, this phenomenon, uh, of which I'm an example, this phenomenon I think will continue, where people who can move will move uh, and have a better quality of life uh, than they would have had uh, in heretofore. In their, in their previous existence. So they're my thoughts. I hope you find it interesting and useful, maybe a little bit inspiring. 
and um, I look forward to hearing your, your comments. Thanks. Bye-bye.